Hello students, welcome. This is class 6, Science. Chapter number 4. Sorting materials into groups. It is lecture number 1. In this video lecture, we will be performing some of the pre-text activities. Topics to be covered. Here, we will be looking at the properties of materials. Altogether, we will be discussing and performing three different activities. Let's start with activity one. Aim to classify the things into living and non-living. Materials required. Observe as many objects as possible in your surrounding. Procedure Step number one Look around you and observe things like notebook, housefly, pencil, etc. Step number two Separate all the things into living and non living objects. In this picture, you can get a hint that there are some objects which we call living things. They have life in them, while others we call non-living things. They do not have life. These are some of the common items, objects or materials that you will observe around you. Let's list them down together. Here, under the name items, I have just mentioned few common items. You can add as many items as you wish. Let's have a look at an example. Pencil. Yes, it is non living cow definitely it's a living organism in the same way you just have to list down the items and categorize them as living or non living Observation You noticed that some objects are living and some are non-living on the basis of certain similarities and differences. Conclusion We learned that the diversity of objects and materials around us. Here, the term diversity means different or variety. Now, let us check activity 2.
aim to know about objects and the materials they are made of. Materials required. Number one, some common household items that you can get around you. Procedure. Number one, list all the objects collected in a table. Number two, let us be a little more systematic. Number three, try to identify the materials that each one is made of. Here, we will be trying to find the materials all these objects which we collected are made of. In this table, I have listed down few items. Again, you are free to list down as many items as you wish. In the next column, along with the items, I have mentioned the materials they are made of. Let's take few examples. Number one. Pen. It is made up of plastics and some of the pens are even made up of metal. Number two, books, notebooks. Yes, they are made up of paper. In the same way, you are requested to list down the materials along with the items. To help you understand this activity, I have a question for you. Which of these things are made of paper? Different items are shown here. You are supposed to select those items which are made up of paper. I hope some of you must be telling book, envelope, card, magazine, calendar. Yes, you all are right. Let's have another such quick question. Which of these things are made of plastic? Observe carefully. Some of you must be ready with the answers like watering can, party bag, walkman, dice, and paddling pool. In the same sequence, you can have list of the items which are made up of wood, like table, bird table, pencils, desk, ladder, bookshelf, etc. Alright, one last question of this type. Which of these things are made of metal? Be careful while choosing your answers. Some of you might be thinking the chest of drawers, a saucepan, tap, a medal, 
toy car, spanner and key. Yes, you all got it right. What do we observe after performing this activity? We can see from the above table that there is a variety of materials of which different objects are made up of. Conclusion Objects around us are made of different materials. We found that sometimes a single material is used for making different objects. For example, paper is used in making books, notebooks, newspapers, etc. Activity number three. Aim to understand the property of luster. Materials required. Again, I have listed down some common items which can be found around us like a spoon, coin, pencil, knife, cloth bag, etc. Procedure Step number one Make a list of common items you see around in your house. Number two, identify if their surface is lustrous or non lustrous. Dear students, you might be confused about the word lustrous and non lustrous. Let me help you in understanding these terms. The word lustrous means having bright and shiny appearance. You can easily point out that a coin a gold ornament are shiny in appearance, whereas the term non lustrous means dull in appearance. Yes, wood, stone, cloth, etc. are few examples of dull appearing materials or non lustrous materials. Here, in this table, I have listed down the common items which I collected. Example, steel spoon, wooden pencil, stone, coin, key, crayon, cloth bag, etc. Then, I observed their surfaces and marked down if they appeared shiny or dull. Students, you are free to list down as many items as possible. Also, it's not mandatory just to note down only these items which I have listed.
observation we observed that surfaces of some objects shine when light falls on them there are large number of other objects whose surface do not have shine conclusion the materials having shiny appearance are called lustrous and the dull looking materials which do not have shine are called non lustrous that's all for this video lecture thank you students at the same time i will encourage you all to perform all these activities at your home